I represent two government uh, ministries, the Ministry of Defense being a major general from the Army Corps of Engineers and also as additional Survey General of Survey of India and the associated with National GIS, the Department of Science and Technology. So, I am mandated with three responsibilities to look after the geospatial requirement of the defense, to, to meet the aspirations of the civil society as National GIS coordinator at Hyderabad and also as head of the Indian Institute of Surveying and Mapping, help Survey of India in capacity building and the nation in geospatial technology. If I have to share my experience, it dates back to my uh, appointment as Director GIS in the Military Operation Directorate. When the GIS was in its infant stage during Kargil operation, we found it was extremely useful in bringing down the casualty rates and in our victory in the Kargil operation. Subsequently, this GIS technology became very popular and it has been the now the driving force in all military hardwares, military strategic planning and tactical operations. Now, in my present appointment, I have been interacting with all the ministries and I find the requirement of GIS for all the ministries are overwhelmingly popular and they are finding it very useful tool in making the uh, government projects uh, more effective because it is a two way traffic, it is helping the government in monitoring their projects and also at the same time the common man is using GIS to understand the what are the developments taking place in their own area. Three important points of the present government, their initiative of having smart cities in which in the benchmark they have written for each smart cities where whichever we want to do the GIS is mandatory. So, 3D GIS of the cities which we want to make it develop it as a smart city is mandatory. The second initiative is your interlinking of river. Now, without GIS, this project cannot take off. The third initiative is when we are talking about minimum government and maximum governance. So, this is only possible when you have got all your government assets, all your assets of the people and people itself because everything is location based in a GIS platform. Every area of the governance, so GIS is linked. So, when we think about digital India, so the heart of the digital India will be always GIS.